Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Many animals possess strength that even the strongest humans could only dream about. Different animals have different kinds of strengths. Some have pure physical strength and are capable of lifting, dragging, carrying, or pulling enormous weights. Others may be smaller in size but have massive power. In today's video, I'll be showing you the top 10 strongest predators in the wild, some strong enough to hunt and kill animals twice their size. Make sure to like this video, leave a thumbs up, and you can also leave a suggestion in the comments section, and I'll respond to them in my next video. Without further ado, here are the 10 strongest predators in the wild. The first strongest predator in the wild is the tiger. Tigers are the largest members of the cat family, and are renowned for their power and strength. As the largest member of the cat family, tigers are strong, powerful, and one of nature's most feared predators. <laughs> They are patient hunters. The tiger has been seen to beat the lion in most battles. Their beautiful orange and black striped coats provide camouflage when hunting prey at night, and they can reach speeds of 65 kilometers per hour. They're at the top of the food chain and are capable of killing animals over twice their size. They're nocturnal hunters and will travel many miles to prey on a variety of animals, including deer, buffalo, and wild boar. Not wanting to waste food, remains of large kills may be dragged and buried with leaves. The second strongest predator in the wild is the lion. The lion is the second largest cat in the world. The lion can attack other predators without fear. The lion is a large, powerfully built cat that is second in size only to the tiger. The king of the jungle, as the lion is popularly called, has been one of the best known wild animals since the earliest times. Lions prey on a large variety of animals, ranging in size from rodents and baboons to cape buffalo and hippopotamuses. But they predominantly hunt medium to large size hoofed animals such as wildebeests, zebras, and antelopes. Lions are known to take out elephants and giraffes, but only if the animal is young or especially sick. They readily eat any meat they can find, including fresh kills that they can scavenge or forcefully steal from hyenas, cheetahs, or wild dogs. Lionesses living in the open savanna do most of the hunting, whereas males typically feed on female kills. However, male lions are also skilled hunters, and in some areas they hunt frequently. The third strongest predator in the wild is the jaguar. The jaguar is the largest New World member of the cat family, and the third biggest cat in the world after the tiger and lion. They're found in northern Mexico southward to northern Argentina. Jaguars are swift, agile, and very good climbers. They enter water freely and appear to enjoy bathing. Although active during the day, jaguars hunt mainly at night and on the ground. Capybara and peccary are their preferred prey, but they will also take deer, birds, crocodiles, and fish. Livestock is occasionally attacked in areas where ranches have replaced natural habitat. The cat is a savage fighter when cornered, but does not normally attack humans. One scientist's observation shows that they make a hunting attempt every 30 minutes and are successful 60% of the time, making them one of the world's most efficient predators. They eat a wide variety of prey, from gerbils and shrews to small birds and insects, and makes 10 to 14 kills every night. The fourth strongest predator in the wild is the leopard. The leopard, also called a panther, is a large cat closely related to the lion, tiger, and jaguar. They are the most aggressive of all the big cats. They're agile climbers and frequently store the remains of their kills in the branches of a tree. It feeds upon any animals it can overpower, from small rodents to water buck, but generally preys on the smaller and medium-sized antelope and deer. It appears to have a special liking for dogs as food, and in Africa, for baboons. It sometimes takes livestock and may attack human beings. Studies carried out on leopards have revealed that a female with cubs has been shown to have a kill rate of 28%, while a lone male can only achieve one of 14%. The fifth strongest predator in the wild is the crocodile. Crocodiles are generally large, ponderous, amphibious animals of lizard-like appearance and carnivorous habit. They have powerful jaws with many conical teeth and short legs with clawed, webbed toes. They share a unique body form that allows the eyes, ears, and nostrils to be above the water surface while most of the animal is hidden below. Crocodiles are mostly nocturnal animals. They're predators that spend most of their time in the water, although they are also known to make journeys of several kilometers on land. Crocodiles capture water animals in their jaws with a sideways movement of the muzzle. They have sensitive pressure receptors located in the scales around the mouth that detect motion. These structures assist in the capture of prey in the dark or murky water. To catch land animals, a crocodile floats passively or remains motionless at the edge of the water where prey habitually drink. With a sudden lunge, it seizes an unsuspecting animal and drowns it. If the prey is large, a crocodile may grip portions of the victim in its jaws and rotate rapidly in the water to tear the prey apart. The sixth strongest predator in the wild is the hyena. 
Hyenas are dog-like carnivores found in Asia and Africa and are noted for their scavenging habits. Hyenas have long forelegs and powerful necks and shoulders for tearing apart and carrying prey. Hyenas are tireless trotters with excellent sight, hearing, and smell for locating carrion, and they're good hunters as well. All hyenas are more or less nocturnal. The spotted hyena hunts everything from young hippos to fish, though antelopes are more common. In East and Southern Africa, they kill most of their food chasing wildebeests, gazelles, and zebras at up to 65 kilometers or 40 miles per hour for three kilometers. Contrary to popular belief, healthy as well as weakened animals are taken. One or two animals may start the chase, but dozens may be in on the kill. Strong jaws and broad molars allow the animal to get at every part of the carcass and crush bones, which are digested in the stomach by highly concentrated hydrochloric acid. Spotted hyenas sometimes go several days between meals, as the stomach can hold 14.5 kilograms of meat. The seventh strongest predator in the wild is the puma. The puma is also called a mountain lion, a large brownish New World cat comparable in size to the jaguar. The puma is active mostly at dusk, night, and dawn. Pumas hunt everything from wild to domestic livestock, especially sheep, goats, and young calves. It's rare for pumas to feed on carcasses that they did not kill. When hunting, a puma moves about 10 kilometers per night, hunting in several travel bouts averaging 1.2 hours each. Traveling alternates with shorter periods of stalking, waiting in ambush, or resting. Slower than most of its prey, it springs from cover at close range, usually from behind the intended victim. When feeding on a large mammal, it minimizes spoilage and loss to scavengers by dragging the carcass to a secluded area and covering it with leaves and debris. During the day, the cat commonly sleeps within 50 meters of the carcass, and it will feed for an average of three nights on a large kill. The eighth strongest predator in the wild is the cheetah. Cheetahs are one of the most recognizable cats, known especially for its speed. Cheetah sprints have been measured at a maximum of 114 kilometers or 71 miles per hour, and they routinely reach velocities of 80 to 100 kilometers per hour while pursuing prey. Unlike most carnivores, cheetahs are active mainly during the day, hunting in the early morning and late afternoon. A cheetah eats a variety of small animals, including birds, rabbits, small antelopes, young warthogs, and larger antelopes. Prey is generally consumed quickly to avoid losing it to competitors such as lions, leopards, jackals, and hyenas. To stop larger carnivores from stealing their hard-earned meals, they move them to more secluded, shadier spots. The ninth strongest predator in the wild is the wolf. Wolves can be any of two species of wild dog-like carnivores. It's the largest non-domestic member of the dog family and inhabits vast areas of the Northern Hemisphere. The wolf is built for travel. Its long legs, large feet, and deep but narrow chest suit it well for life on the move. Keen senses, large canine teeth, powerful jaws, and the ability to pursue prey at 60 kilometers or 37 miles per hour equip the wolf well for a predatory way of life. The main prey is large herbivores such as deer, elk, moose, bison, bighorn sheep, caribou, and musk oxen, which they chase, seize, and pull to the ground. Beavers and hares are eaten when available, and wolves in western Canada will even fish for Pacific salmon. A large percentage of the animals that wolves kill are young, old, or in poor condition. After making a kill, the pack often reduces the carcass to hair and a few bones before moving on to look for another meal. The tenth strongest predator in the wild is the wild dog. They're one of the most successful predators anywhere, with a kill rate per chase of more than 85%. That's not the whole story, however. They may lose half of their kills, ranging from small animals to animals ten times their weight, to other carnivores such as hyenas and lions. Wild dogs differ from the rest of the members of the dog family in having only four toes on each foot. Its coat is short, sparse, and irregularly blotched with yellow, black, and white. The wild dog is long-limbed with a broad, flat head, a short muzzle, and large, erect ears. It hunts in packs of 15 to 60 or more, and is found in parts of Africa, south and east of the Sahara, particularly in grasslands. It usually preys on antelopes and some larger game, but has been hunted in settled regions for the damage it sometimes does to domestic livestock. I hope you learned something from this video, and if you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe button below, like and leave a comment, and we'll see you in the next video.